Hey everyone, y'all, let me just say, it is th two days past Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. Today's Wednesday, and I just, I just have not done a thing other than clean up a little bit yesterday. Amen. So, anyway, he's returning, I bought him some overalls, and he's returning them, exchanging them for a different size. And I'd like to run by Hobby Lobby and just do a few odd and end things. And then we're going to go home and we're going to cook potato soup. But I've really done nothing worthy of filming today. Like, nothing. Caroline and Jamie and the boys came over for a little bit. But um, nothing film worthy so far today. So we're going to go to Tractor Supply so he can return his overalls and exchange them for a different size. Hopefully he'll let me run into Hobby Lobby for a little bit. And then I don't know what else we'll do while we're out, but, um, and then we'll get home and we'll make some potato soup, so, and some rolls. I'm going to make some, uh, usually my rolls that I make, my yeast rolls that are absolutely delicious. If you haven't tried them, you need to go look them up, but they are three rises. This is a, is a recipe that I, I've never tried and I want to try it because it, it's not a three rise process. It's a much quicker process and they look really super good so uh, we're gonna go home I'm gonna get the soup going and then we'll get the roll started but first we're gonna run a few errands well I thought I came to find me some replacements <laughs> oh it's too big is it too big it's gonna be too big that's gonna swallow you yep. long arms what size is that one Oh, that's an extra large. Right. I might can do that one. Because right, I'm going to have bulky clothes under it. Yeah. But even with bulky clothes, this one's too big. She thinks her arms are too short. There was a day there was that a this day. was not too big. <laughs> but if I keep eating, it'll be perfect again. <laughs> I told her today we're throwing out all the snack food. Right, Mom? All but the fudge and the trash. It's going out too. <laughs> Okay, here goes another size, the size down. What do you think? I arms, think it still may be a arm still's a little long. She likes that color. It's kind of a plumish brown color. It's really good. That does fit good. Your arms are a little I long. I wonder if I can roll that. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Jeremiah. Is it on sale? Probably not. <laughs> we'll have to wait till next Christmas. Yep, but I do like it. Searching for his size is like finding a needle in a haystack. We'll find it, Mom. We'll find it. We'll find it? Yep. Okay, let's hope so. Hey. There you go. That may fit one thigh. <laughs> I don't think so. Bryant's still in the car, but I thought what we would do is we would go in here and to Hobby Lobby, and this is my store. <laughs> and so we're gonna go in here and see if we can find anything for Valentine's Day. He doesn't know I'm looking for Valentine's Day, so we're not gonna tell him. We're just gonna look. He's sending a text, he'll be coming in later, so he'll get to see what I'm looking at. Since we're out and about, we're gonna try a little sandwich shop for lunch it's new to town or it's new to, I haven't been yet I'm not sure how long it's been open but it's new to me I haven't been in there yet so we're gonna go in here it's called Blake's half-baked sandwich shop so let's go get us a quick little sandwich okay guys we called we got a sandwich called for the birds and it's got turkey Swiss bacon um, and mayonnaise lettuce and then we got chicken gnocchi soup so we're gonna try this out and see if we like this place one of the things that's difficult here at the chicken house is it's staying organized. The reason it's hard is because you're so spread out. You've got six houses um, over about, uh, if you include loadout area and everything, over about, uh, about 10, 11 acres. And um, I may be in house number one and need a tool, and it's over number six. And I may number number four, need a tool, and it's number five. And, and so each set of houses, like this is house three right here, okay? And that is house four over there. They face each other. So if it's in three and four, you just it's one step right across from the other. So Caroline got me something for Christmas. Let me show you what she got me. I've just put it together. So let me show you. It's an organizer. 
and I've just bolted this organizer together and it bolts on the wall and you hang some of your tools on it. And so I'm here at the chicken houses getting ready to put it up. Let me install this and I'll show you how it works. All right, you guys can see I've just got it installed right there on the wall. So you can get the full grasp. It's about, uh, about five feet, five and a half feet off the wall right there. This is what you do. You take your tools like this battery impact. You hang it up there just like that. And if you've got a charger that you charge the batteries with, you place the charger on there just like that. And so that's, that's the way you do it. And so this is going to be a nifty little addition and help keep daddy organized. Thank you, Caroline. Now, guys, I just wanted to remind you that since this is Vlogmas, I'm not giving full recipe tutorials. I'm just bringing you along with me for the day. And if I fix food, you're part of, you're just there with me. We will get back to the regular recipe tutorials where I actually put the recipe in the video description and all that good stuff. We'll get back to that once Vlogmas is over after the first of the year. But um, so, so don't expect the recipes in the description or anything. I'm just bringing you guys along with me for whatever I do during the day. And we'll get back to our normal recipe tutorials after the first of the year. Okay, everybody. Well, I've been kind of out of sorts since Christmas has ended and just not kind of knowing what to do with myself other than clean and get things picked up like the wrapping paper thrown away and everything. So I might as well do what I do best and that is cook. And I kind of want some potato soup. It's a dreary day here in Asheboro, North Carolina. It's yesterday was full blown rain. Today is just dreariness. There's no rain. It's just dreary and yucky. Not really cold, but yucky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some potato soup. I'm going to use my new Dutch oven that Bryant got me for Christmas. And yes, I almost used my Ninja, but I wanted, I just think I can, I just wanted to use this. So, and I'm also going to use my new knife. So let's get started. Hope we don't cut off a finger. The onions I had are pretty small, so I'm going to use two. And we're just going to make a potato soup. Let's see, that's the root end. I don't want to cut the root end off. All right. All right, and I just, I slice towards the center of the onion. And then when I get to the center, I go straight down, and then I start angling again, going towards the center. And look, you, there's no need for any crossways cuts. You just go down and you have perfectly chopped onions. And I love my knife. I <laughs> love it. Okay. All right. Set that aside. And we'll do the same thing with this one. And I'm going to cut both onions up. I'll bring you back as soon as I get them both cut. And um, chopped up. I'm gonna. I've got a couple two two tablespoons of butter that I've already put in my um, Dutch oven here. I don't have it on yet. I'm gonna go stick it on the oven and get that melting. And I'll just go ahead and put these onions right in there with it. And I'm going to do one more small onion. Go ahead and get this going. And I'll meet you back here when we slice up the potatoes. Okay, we're going to just slice. This knife is amazing, y'all. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I'm going to slice them a little bit smaller than I normally would for stewed potatoes, but not much smaller. I like, you know, I want to be able to get a good bite of potato. So I basically cut it in half, quarter it, and then just slicing them down into bite-sized pieces. So we're going to go, we're going to do all that to the potatoes. I did a full five, well, I don't know, are the bags even five pounds anymore? I haven't looked. It's what I normally buy as a five-pound bag. I don't know if they're still five pounds or not. I haven't looked. So, but anyway, and this is yellow Yukon gold. 
I'm going to put some water and some chicken bouillon in there. And I'm going to add more butter once the onions saute. My eyes are still burning from the onions. But I'm going to um, add the rest of that stick of butter. So it's going to have a full stick of butter in it. And we may even add more. But all right, I've got more potatoes to do. I'm going to get these um, in a pot over here just to move out of my way. And I'll keep slicing and dicing. Okay, so I got carried away with my knife that I am absolutely in love with. And it is worth every penny. I don't know what he spent on it. Well, he told me it was like around $100. And oh my goodness, it is amazing. I'm going to put the rest of that butter in there. But I got carried away with my knife and I scorched some of the onions. <laughs> so if you see a black fleck, it's just a scorched onion. But we're going to let this cook and get soft. I'm going to add some salt and pepper to it. The reason the water's brown is from where I scorched the onion a little bit. But that's just going to add flavor, to be honest. So we're going to um, cook this down, get the potatoes nice and soft. And then we'll be adding a creamy aspect to this soup. Now, I can't decide if I want to add cheese in while I'm cooking it or if I want to wait until we serve it at the table. Haven't decided yet, but we'll decide before, before supper. So right now it's just potatoes, onion, water. I'm going to add salt and pepper to taste real quick. Got my Redmond's Real Salt right here. Add in and let me get a knife. There we go. I need to fill up my pepper container. All right. So there we go. We've got potatoes, scorched onions, <laughs> and um, so you can see the black flecks, but that's okay. That's just going to give good flavor. If I see a big piece like this one right here, I reach in and get it out, but the rest of them, they'll be fine. All right, so we're going to let this cook. I'll bring you back when it is ready for the next step. Okay, everybody, I'm going to try these new rolls real quick. My kitchen is still a disaster from Christmas, so we're just going to make these really fast. In here is three and a half cups all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of yeast, and about a teaspoon and a half of salt. So I'm just going to whisk that together real quick, and I've got some milk in the microwave heating up. I just added a cup and a fourth of warm milk and I'm fixing to add in some melted butter, about four tablespoons of melted butter. Okay everyone, here is our bread dough. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've sprayed a nine by 13 pan. Um, I added a cup and a fourth of warm milk and four tablespoons of butter to this and let it knead. And so now I'm gonna cut it, divide it into, you got a piece of onion on it. <laughs> Uh, divide it into 15 rolls. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> That's what I thought. And let's look over here at our soup. I've added bacon bits, I've added milk, I've added heavy cream, and we just have not added the cheese yet. And I added a small corn starch slurry. Say that three times. I fast. know, corn starch slurry to um, thicken it up just a little bit. So um, it is ready all but the cheese and thickening up Look so once the rolls are ready we'll be ready to eat okay we have some a little bit smaller than the other so not completely even but i'm going to let these rise for about 30 minutes and then we'll bake them and that's it to these rolls so we'll see how they turn out okay everyone the rolls are out of the oven and bryant is gonna just douse some good with melted butter with that new copper. Well, yes, yeah, my copper utensil that I got for Christmas. I don't think they're really copper. They're stainless steel, but a copper color. Mm -hmm. How does that look? 
Looks delicious. We'll bring them back for a taste in yes. a second. Just let them cool. Yep, this is a new recipe, so we're eager to see how they turn out. Okay, I've already taken a bite, but I wanted you to see on one that hasn't been bitten off of. Just look how fluffy and delicious. Oh my Daddy goodness, so we'll delicious. set that aside. I'll eat it in just a minute, because I'll finish this one, but. These are delicious. Pretty good. Probably not quite as fluffy as my three rise rolls, but hey, when you're in a hurry, these are pretty close, and I mean, I'm very happy with them, so. You need to give these a try. It's a keeper? It's a keeper. All right. What you got right there? This is our potato soup. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at the chunks of bacon mm -hmm. in there. I don't know if I showed adding the bacon, but I had some bacon crumbles I added, some um, cheddar cheese, and I believe Brian stuck some mozzarella. mozzarella in there. Yeah, a little mozzarella. The thing okay. about mozzarella in potato soup, it can get kind of stringy, so just be careful with it. So good. Let's enjoy. How was that roll? Good, good. Good, good? All right, we're going to see what Judah thinks. I already, like, bite one. Try another bite. Try another bite. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Well, everybody, I realized it's actually the next day. I did realize that I didn't end yesterday's video very well. So I thought I'd come on and say we had an amazing supper. It was great. The rolls were great. Not as good as my normal yeast rolls. But hey, when you're wanting something really fast, th those are the way to go. And the soup was delicious. And Bryant said a while ago this morning, <laughs> he said it's even better today than it was yesterday because it's kind of thickened up even more so anyway um i did want to show you what i got at hobby lobby and then ask your opinion on something um i love the lights at christmas and i think that's why i'm struggling so bad everything's tangled so i'm gonna untangle while i talk i struggled so bad getting um um, taking down my Christmas trees. I just love the lights and things of Chris of Christmas. Um, so I am going to keep up and, and put up like things for Valentine's and so forth, just so I can keep a few lights out. And um, so yeah. But anyway, so that's what I went to Hobby Lobby for. And I, over, my Chris, over my kitchen window, I had garland and the red beads and so forth. And I wanted to leave the lights up there, but put something Valentine's-y with it. So I found this. It looks like black stems with this beautiful, shiny red stuff that I'm getting everywhere. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I just thought that was... It's not really my style. In fact, I really would have liked the wood looking vines with the red rustic looking berries, but I thought the, the lights would shimmer off of this red and I got two to put together, to attach together to make it long enough. So these were, these were actually in their Christmas section. Um, they were $15.99 originally, but they were 66% off. And so I did get two of those and they're six, they're a little over six feet long. So um, this will be enough to hang down the side and across the top when I attach these two together. So that is that. These little red things do break and come off real easy, but that's okay. Then I got this garland. I wanted to keep my mantle decorated. And so, oh my goodness. Anyway, here is a heart. Why is that one? There we go. Um, it's just wooden hearts, pink and red all the way across. And I thought it could go pretty on my mantle. Oh, and the red beads that go in my garland, I was going to intertwine in this red and black 
Um, and then I bought this to kind of go along with the hearts. It's just red and white. And this was actually Christmas as well. It was $8.99 and it was 66% off. So like $3 and something. Uh, this Valentine's was not a percentage off, but it was $9.99, which I didn't think was bad. And um, I got two of the red and white. And then also probably on my mantle with the, I've, I've got this, this is my style. <laughs> this is definitely my style. So, and then keep my white lights up with it. Now, what I need your help with is if you remember this tree right here, my original, if you've been with me for a few years, my original thought with this tree was to keep to keep it decorated per the season. Now, I already have Valentine's decorations for it. So, in order to keep lights twinkling, should I leave this tree up and keep it decorated for each season? Or should I just take it down and put my apple cider press back where it was? Um, I'm thinking about just taking it down. Um, Yeah, I really think I'm going to take it down. <laughs> I'm asking your opinion, and now I'm deciding I'm going to take it down. Um, just because it's super special to get it out at Christmas. And and I can put lights somewhere else. I can, I can figure out a place for lights. So I can even put lights in my apple cider press and, and just kind of dangle them around or whatever. So, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to take it down. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to put this up. I'm going to end this video and then go get ready for today so I can start today's video. And I will see you guys next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Hey, listen. Well, I'll come on and tell you again. Never mind. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>